basically nowadays, as you know, the planet has changed so much the last 50 years, the body is confused. The body is not able to keep up with our activities of the Western world. When I started out in medicine, 80% of the people that I saw had acute illnesses and 20% of the people had chronic illnesses. Now the numbers are fundamentally the other way around. My condition, there's very little known about it, and the causes of it are basically unknown. I was treated by the Western medicine with the traditional treatments. Western medicine is fundamentally suppressive in nature. The treatments were effective, but they didn't solve the problem. Uh, natural medicine, what we call alternative medicine, biological medicine, is really talking about what's causing that to begin with. I started to interact with some of my own some of my own very severe chronic illness patterns. And so I started to immerse myself when the standard mainstream you know, medical people weren't helping. We don't want to be on one side, we don't want to be on the other side, but can't we marry the two? Can't we really connect Western medicine and Eastern medicine? Most of my work is chronic illnesses. That's where what you call biological medicine shines because you have to understand the, the patient's all the system, the constitution, the temperament, etc., and then you deal with it accordingly. The bacteria never creates a disease. It's always the milieu which makes the bacteria upgrade or downgrade, which makes the bacteria more toxin producing or less toxin producing. If you have bad milieu, it's like instead of a nice fast flowing river, you have a swamp. And when you have swamps, you get gators and skeeters. And a lot of people come in and they complain about the diseases. They, and that's a bit like complaining about the mosquitoes in the swamp. The mosquitoes don't cause the swamp. So part of the Sanum thing is looking at, okay, what's the soil? What's the, the swamp water? Take a drop of capillary blood, put it under the dark field microscope. I can see in 10 or 15 seconds, a whole wealth of information that is completely invisible to standard medical testing. It's a tool which gives me a very good picture about the internal milieu, and it makes my diagnosis, in a way, quicker and more understandable for the patient. I went to the clinic, and at first I was just overwhelmed. But the more I got into it and I understood all the tests that they did, where they tested for the fever, the inflammation in your body, how they looked at the uh, dark field with your cells. About um, 10 years ago, I was sitting with a professor of hematology from a major medical school, and I was showing him blood underneath the dark field microscope and throwing it up onto the computer screen in real time. Very fast flickering little shattered glass type granules inside as it coursed around through the blood. And he said to me, slow the tape down. I wanna, I wanna see that more clearly. And I was a little baffled. And I looked at him and said, it's not a tape. <laughs> We're looking at this in real time. He had been teaching hematology for 25, 30 years. He had never actually seen how vital it, how living and how moving the elements in the blood were. The purpose of these remedies is to find their counterparts within the human body that are not behaving themselves. These remedies, the heptins, they give it back to the, to the bacteria. So like lock and key, they fit together and the bacteria is again recognized by the immune system. It's a phenomenal combination. In other words, they have the capacity to stimulate um, immune system function. I have been practicing German biological medicine for more than uh, 20 years. It's not somebody trying to convince me to do this. It's just simply because it works. I'm a skeptic. It takes a lot for me to be convinced. And with a detective mind, I question everything. The body has to prove to me that it works and it has to make sense. If you use the Sanum approach, you're looking at changing the root of the disease. I use it on almost all my patients. Um, I've been in practice for almost 30 years now. 
People are just so interested and so hungry for more information. The public is becoming more savvy. They're becoming more conscious. Patients now are going to doctors' offices and they are walking in with more information. They have their own suggestions that they want their doctor to work with them collaboratively. I decided to follow the biological mentality to do it and get the treatment done and um, right away start to feel much better. My digestion was better, my energy was better, I was sleeping better. And when everybody called me say, I'm doing so much better, I'm getting well, I'm looking younger, that really thrilled me. The biological medicine offers such a good foundation and the worst that's going to happen is you're going to be healthier. And uh, the best that can happen is maybe, hey, you can be a lot healthier, <laughs> more than you could ever imagine. Yes. I've probably worked with about two and a half thousand different clinical cases. And I have seen miraculous transformations. We were seeing changes in really chronic things over a short period of time. It's not magic, but over you know a few weeks as opposed to months. So I think this work is important. I think this work should be stood up big time and that it should be a part of our mainstream medical continuum. I have to say, without the uh, bleosanum, I wouldn't have the practice that I have um, today. I have been able to solve a lot of serious infection that sometimes the hospital is unable to deal with. The practitioners want to go deeper. They want more. They want more tangibles. They want to be able to bring it home to their practice, and they want to be able to implement it on Monday morning. I don't want to tell anybody what they have to do, but I think everyone needs to spend a bit of time to learn more. So we want to create the opportunities that ease that process for people. And I think once they see what's happening, when they hear the stories the doctors have to tell about what they're doing, and when they hear the stories from the patients about what their experiences have been, I think there will be compelling stories uh, that will move people to find out more. You will be based on the results that you get. It'll make you think about what's driving the disease, and um, your practice will double. So, you know, they're all good things to have.